Good morning, sports racers. It's Tuesday, January 12th, and why did I do this? I hate introducing myself about as much as I hate waiting for things to load online. It's necessary, and it's worth it in the end, but, like, I think we can all agree that life would be better if we never had to do it. Wouldn't it be nice if when you met someone for the first time, they already felt all warm and fuzzy on the inside and knew your name and major and favorite color and all that stuff? I mean, think of all the time we would save. That being said, hello folks of the internet, I'm Sam. I'm a philosophy nerd. And a politics nerd. An economics tolerator. Politics, philosophy, and economics major. A twin. Regular nerd. Nerd fighter. Beard lover. I could make a rap out of this. Don't worry, I won't. Rap fan. But of the J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar variety, not the Lil Pump variety. Unfortunately, I'm not a filmmaker, but I am an eventual president of the United States, or senator, we'll see what happens. I'm a Cubs fan. I'm a Chicagoan, and like Meshach, I'm a Denisonian. I'm also a trombone player. Don't forget the other side. And whatever else I am, I'm certainly not a pipe. And with that, I'm not sure I have that much else to say. I mean, it's really hard to get to know a person. It's even harder to get to know a person by having them just tell you random facts about yourself. There is so much that we don't know about ourselves, or at least so much that we don't realize we should tell other people. So I'm excited for you guys to be able to get to know us, not from what we say, but who we are. I'd also like to get to know you guys, so feel free to say hello. You can ask any questions of Meshack or myself or the community that we're trying to develop here. Now, with that out of the way, let me make an important clarification. I don't support eating people. I myself would never eat a person barring the most extreme, horrendous circumstances. But I do think it's difficult to morally justify eating a super intelligent plant before you would eat a genetically modified human that was designed not to feel let's say, that had the mental capacity of a chicken, for example. It's a trickier question than at first it seems, and it leads to some really interesting questions about what is okay to harm and what's not okay to harm. Before we move on from this, though, I'd like to thank 8L4H again for challenging me in my previous video in the comments section. We appreciate your viewership and your sharp philosophical mind. You rightly pointed out that if intelligence doesn't include the capacity for intelligence, then it's a terrible marker for anything moral, because it can lead to really horrible racist societies. Thanks for pointing that out. Now, I was gonna insert delicious footage of me making Haluski here, but it turns out that making Haluski for the first time while recording on your phone and a USB microphone maybe isn't the easiest thing, especially for someone that, again, I will note, is not a filmmaker. Nevertheless, I appreciate you, Meshack, for sharing that recipe with me. Cabbage noodles always make me think of you. And if that's not friendship, I don't know what is. I'll see you tomorrow, Meshack. Oh, and Audrey wanted to say hi. Hi! <laughs> Oh, sorry.